Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a kind of romantic uh, pink shimmery eye look for you guys. Just something that I that you could wear every day but can also be used for a special occasion like Valentine's Day or a first date or something like that. So I hope you enjoy. Bye! Okay, so I'm starting off with a clean face and just using Steeler's One Step Correct Primer to prime my face. This one has three different colours in it to help correct all the kind of gross tones in your skin. So there's one colour for red, there's one for yellow, and there's one for purple. Now I'm just going in with my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Porcelain Peach and just concealing my dark under eye circles. I haven't been getting much sleep lately so this step is quite important for me and for a first date it will probably also help to make sure that you look like you have got some sleep. So now I'm just going in with NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. I thought I'd change because I looked like a bit of a hood rat. <laughs> so now I'm just going to pop that on different points of my face and then I'm just going to take a Sigma F80 brush and buff that into the skin. Now I'm not going to cover up every single spot that I have at the moment because I feel like having a more natural finish for a first date or a Valentine's Day look is a bit more important than trying to fake perfect skin. So I'm just going to go over that and buff it in and then the concealer that I'm using won't be really full coverage either so it's going to add to that kind of natural finish. So the concealer I'll be using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. Again, it doesn't have too much coverage so it's not going to be really intense. I'm just going to use it to um, colour correct some redness on my nose and a few pimples that are peeking through way too much on my chin. Now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and use this to blend the concealer under my eyes. This is a lot gentler than using a blush. A brush, I mean and it just makes it appear more flawless. So now I'm just going to take the NARS Press Powder in Flesh on a small Real Technique setting brush and just put that under my eyes. It is important to set your under eye concealer so it doesn't crease or slide around. And then I'm just going to take a larger Real Techniques brush and just pop a little bit of that on the rest of my face. I don't want a really matte finish for this look, so I'm just using a small dusting of it, not taking it on like I usually would. And now I'm going with the NARS Guy Borden palette. I'm just going to use Laguna, which is the bronzer, the bronzer to contour my face. I'm using a MAC 130 brush, which is a stippling brush. A stippling brush has bristles that are less densely packed so it creates a softer kind of blend when you are contouring or blushing or whatever you want to do with the brush. So it's not going to be a really stark line so it's perfect for this look. And now I'm just going to go in with NARS Deep Throat from that palette. I can't actually... Um, get away from using the dirty names that are in the NARS blush line. And I'm just popping that on my face using a Sigma Angled um, Contour Brush. And now I'm going to use the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This is a champagne coloured stick highlighter. So I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones, not too high so that it gets in the under eye area where the delicate skin is. But then I'm going to blend it into my skin with my fingers because it warms up the product and creates a more natural look. You can build this up for a really intense highlight for a night out, but I'm just going to keep it a little bit more subtle today. And now I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light and put that over my face with a large fan brush. So now I'm just going to prime my eyelids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in... Painterly. <laughs> I also did my eyebrows off camera because they just were not working for me the day that I was filming. So I thought that I wouldn't bore you with that routine again. And now I'm going with the Steeler In The Light palette. And I'm taking two of the neutral shades from that, which is Bare, which is just a cream colour and Bliss, which is a light brown, and just popping them in my crease to create a nice blending base for the next shade we're going to use. 
Um, if you use a neutral shade, it's a lot easier to blend on top of it rather than going straight onto a wet base and trying to blend a bright colour like this one from the palette. This palette doesn't have the names on the back, but I am going to find it and put it in the description box for you guys if you're interested. Um, the good thing about using blushes is that you can also use them as eyeshadows. So you don't have to have this exact blush. If you have a blush that's similar, you can use it as well. It's really good to have um, products that are good at multitasking like blushes are. So now I am going in with Kitten from the Steeler in the Light palette and just popping that on my eyelid. Um, it's just a really nice champagne shade. This is so famous, so, so famous. Um, if you're in the beauty world at all, you will have heard of this shade, this highlighter or something from the Steeler line with this name. So I'm just going to pop that on the lid to create a bit of contrast. And as I go, I am going to blend this in with the pink that is in the crease make it a bit more seamless. Now because I didn't feel like the crease was dark enough, I'm going to take a darker pink. This one's more of a, an almost a plum shade. I'm just going to define the outer crease with that and bring it all the way in um, just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. I felt like the pink wasn't that wearable, so I decided to darken it up a little bit here. Now, as you can see, the kitten colour on my lid has faded, so I'm just going to go in with that brush again. I think it's a Sigma E55 flat shader brush. I'm just going to pop that back on the lid and then blend it out a little bit later, um, just so it has that intensity that we want. So now I'm just going to go in with the Benefit There Real Mascara. I didn't realise until I'd started using this, but it had actually almost completely dried out in the tube, so it didn't really do anything for my lashes on this day and my lashes are quite long naturally so for a mascara not to be able to emphasize that was pretty crappy. But I'm just going to go in and coat my bottom and top lashes with this one. That's a finished eye look. So now I'm going to go in with Too Faced, Too Faced Perfect Lip Lip Liner in Perfect Nude. This one's just a little bit darker than my natural lip colour, so it works really well. It doesn't wash me out like a lot of other nudes do because, as I've said a million times before, I am quite pale. I'm just lining my lips with this and filling them in as well. I'm also going to shape my cupid's bow quite dramatically. Not really that dramatic, but just give it a more defined shape than what it usually has because I think for this look you kind of want that rounded, perfect lips um, look. And now I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced La Cream Lipstick in Naked Dolly, which is a perfect match for this perfect nude lip pencil, and it's really creamy, so it actually moisturizes your lips. I can wear this all day and not come home with really chapped lips, which I think is fantastic. It's just a really nice nude um, salmon shade. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoy my lovely posy poses at the end of this video. I thought that I would copy Jacqueline Hill and Nicole Guerrero and all my favorite YouTubers and now I realize it probably looks a little bit douchey to the average viewer who knows me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you get to wear it on your first perfect date. Bye guys.